This is the promotion for number 14, Le Garadie. This is the village, or the hamlet. Shows you the centre of the hamlet. 360 degrees. Looking back at our house, then I walk to the house. This, this bit's owned by English. And these are our neighbours behind who are French but speak English. They're uh, workers English translators. And this is our house with the green shutters. The lower door is the cellar or cab. Stairs go up to the main entrance. And carrying on down this road, this other little building here is also part of the house. It's like a two-storey garage. This is looking back at the house, looking at the wisteria and the bathroom at the top, smaller window. Larger windows, the utility room, and underneath is what used to be a garage, but I converted into a studio. The other green door is the foss or the septic tank. This is the next door neighbour looking at it. That's how the two houses are joined. Next door neighbour's house has recently been sold. It's owned by a 30 something guy who works as a mechanic. Moving back, this is where you park your car. This is the lower garage that's shut at the moment. You'll see that in a minute. And this is into the garden. It's a gazebo, this place to sit. That's the magnolia tree, there's various pine trees and quite a lot of bamboo. This is coming into the garden again when the sun was shining. It's the magnolia tree again, that's the laurel, the big pine tree in the corner. Pine tree again, another pine tree, bits more of the uh, bamboo, I'm trying to create a fence with that. And that other tree is a lime tree. This is the two storey outhouse. Old metal gazebo there. There is cloth for that, but I don't know how good it is. This is the downstairs garage. We do a deal with our next door neighbours whereby they can store stuff in it in return for cutting the grass when we're not there. So once it's bought, uh, this will be emptied unless you do the same deal with them. And this is the upstairs. You go up the back here past this grapevine, which only produces small grapes, so you can't eat them. And this is the upstairs room. There's bits in here that are useful and bits that aren't. It has got electricity, it's got three phase electricity, so that can be utilised as and how you want. It's just a blank canvas at the moment. It needs new windows and cladding. Back down the stairs. Shows the old door and looking out from the little balcony bit into other bits of the garden. Again the garden, doing a 360. And this is the house looking from the garden. We keep the shutters shut when we're not there and we open them up when we are there. This is coming 
down, this is going past the FOSS or the septic tank which I'll show you later, into the under what I used to use as a studio, that's me. It's all been uh, tiled floored, it's nice and cool in here, that's a cement mixer and a few bits. The cement mix is quite useful, it does work. Part of the walls have been limed and part of them have been concreted, so it does breathe. Up the grey box up there is all the main electrics. That's what it looks like when the door's shut. This is the FOSS, it's 1000 litres. Needs emptying probably every two years. Depends on how you use it. If you get a lot of throughput, then it probably needs emptying earlier, but it's up to you how you deal with that. And this is looking from the neighbour coming back towards our house. The bathroom and the utility room were built out over the foss and the downstairs garage, that's kind of um, extension that was added when the place was initially put together for human habitation in the 60s. And this is the cab or the cellar. That's the bottles for the gas hob. This is where you store the wood for the, um, the wood burner. Um. Um, the white thing was the water heater and that's looking out again. This is coming up the stairs. It's a little landing, you can put a chair on here, you can sit on it if you want. This is the main door, opens up into the main living area. Right, you've got a table for chairs, lighting, there's a heater at the back, an electric heater at the back, a spiral staircase, this is the kitchen, microwave, sink, uh, fridge freezer, settee stays, the wood burner and all the bits in here stay. This is the base, this is the kitchen, you've got a, a gas hob and an electric oven. It's me again. Uh, shows all four rings actually work. There's a microwave there, various appliances, then ceramic sink. It's a freezer on top and the fridge at the bottom. It's a leather settee, carpet stays. The uh, computer in the corner is used for watching DVDs. You can rig up the satellite dish to take whatever kind of TV you want. It's the facilities there, we haven't done it. That's the wood burner, shows it works. And that's watching DVDs, an old EMAC. You've obviously put your own TV in, you know, a flat screen TV. That's the place to put it. There's a small um, petrol burner down there, that works as well. This is what the view is from the windows. As you see the honeysuckle covers the uh, access to our, our neighbours at the back. Keeps it all private, they can't see in, we can't see them. This is going out the lounge into the first bedroom and utility area. That's the utility area with a washing machine and this is the first bedroom single bedroom. Put these screens up so that it gives you some privacy if, if people are staying. Pretty simple. The wardrobe to hang your stuff, a couple of drawers and you can shut the door as you'll see in a minute and it gives you some kind of privacy if other people are using the place. This is if you decide to use it as a rental. what it looks like when the door's shut. The window's got a shutter on it as well. This is the utility area. The big windows have got shutters. You can have them open or closed, depends how you want. This is the bathroom. 
It's got screening on the windows for privacy, shower and bath. The hot water comes from the main tank which turns on when you turn the electricity on and it runs at night because it's on um, two, you know, night electricity and day electricity. There's a wall heater there as well for when it gets cold in the winter and a towel heater. This is the spiral staircase going up to the upstairs bedrooms. Place to hang all your clothes, drawers, double bed. There's also air conditioning, that's that grey box. In the summer I open up these windows and put a fly screen on it. That keeps it fairly cool, as you can see. And this is that's all the cladding that I put in. This is the little bedroom, <coughs> it should probably be suitable for children. It has got the base of a single bed and an inflatable mattress. Alter that yourself. You can take the desk out if you want. It's small but it does work. area for clothes, back through the main bedroom. It's quite spacious but because it's angled they uh, can't charge you on the tax. It's got an electric heater there as well for the winter. And that's it.